Back last century, back in the 80s, maybe even early 90s, uh, what was called a fanny pack was, eh, I guess, in. Uh, more correctly, I guess it's called a, a waste pack, but um, that's what we called them back then. And they quickly faded from style, but apparently they're making a comeback, according to what I'm seeing on the internet. Uh, why are we at Riders Range talking about a fanny pack or a waste pack? <laughs> this could be uh, an interesting trip back to the 90s, so stick around. I want to thank uh, Affordable Armory for uh, posting a video this morning on the new Galco. Um, it, it's a waste pack, a way to keep your firearm and, and some other things handy. And it got me thinking that back um, in the late 80s, early 90s, the Second Chance Body Armor Company came out with a thing called a police pouch. And we're going to demonstrate that here um, in just a minute. But thanks for tuning in to uh, Riders Range to uh, take this journey back with us. So I dug around in the attic and found the Second Chance Police Pouch. Um, according to this question, what can hold a 44 for action and stop a 44 if the action gets too hot? And it is the Second Chance Police Pouch. And on the back, it gives uh, some details about it. it. Even shows Richard Davis, the uh, uh, inventor or founder of Second Chance, using the police pouch and putting it on in a matter of um, about one second to get the the pouch up, the gun out, and ready to rock and roll. Um, okay. And let's see, this says it's uh, the police pouch emergency body armor system can provide off-duty and undercover officers the same second chance given over 500 American police officers and the second chance saves documented file. Now this, again, this is, goes back to uh, 1992, I believe, is when I got this, according to the data on the, uh, on the panel. Uh, ballistic protection level equivalent to uh, Model A or, or uh, NIJ Level 2A stops 240 grain jacket of hollow point 44 magnum at 1300 feet per second. Call for more information. Um, it, it gets into more detail on this, what it is, what it does, and uh, uh, we're going to have to give it a try here. All right, so here's what I dug out of the attic, and this is the Second chance, police pouch. I'm going to try to put it on here now. Um, I have to admit that it has shrunk a lot since I got this in uh, 1992. I didn't realize Kevlar would shrink, but um, obviously Kevlar and nylon is designed to shrink over time. So in the last, um, what, uh, 29 years, this has shrunk. I'm going to try to put it on. And, and before I put it on, let's take a look at it. Now. I'm going to try to put it on, and, and then we'll see what it does, and we'll, then we'll take it apart and, and take a look. All right, bear with me here. I was not designed for this amount of shrinkage in the pouch. All right. So, there we go. We're going to have two images side by side on this so that you can see what it is, how it works. All right, this is the police. Now, this is a big fanny pack, um, waist pack, whatever you want to call it. This is a pretty good size, of course it's on a pretty good size waist right now too. But the way that Richard Davis shows it is you can be pulling this up for protection at the same time grabbing your firearm. By the way, nothing in the magazine and chamber is empty. Now, this is the Smith & Wesson Ladysmith and you saw that in the video. We'll uh, put the link to that uh, video up here. Uh, but I figured it's appropriate to dig out the Smith & Wesson since this is a product of the 90s and this pack is also a product of the 90s. So, ballistic protection, you can get it in sheriff or police, you can get it in different colors. Uh, it's, um, it's a body armor panel, as long as you're not standing sideways or to the back. All right. I'm going to take this off and we'll uh, we'll take a look at how this works. All right, it's all contained in a rather bulky pack here, uh, belt to go around the waist. A little bit of stretch on on this one to get it around mine, 
and this panel or this uh, pull tab in the back uh, it actually has velcro to keep it from falling down and going out of sight so you grab the tab you pull and voila there is your ballistic panel on the other side though you also have a pocket that is in fact surrounded by ballistic material the ad said it even or the insert even said it has steel and I don't feel any steel in the uh, the end of this but it's a ballistic um, muzzle device to hold the gun. Uh, it doesn't cover the trigger guard on this particular gun. Uh, it does have a Velcro sleeve that uh, has Velcro on one side, elastic on the other to theoretically go around the butt of the gun and to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. There's storage for a spare magazine if you need it. Now it's a little long for this particular magazine for the Smith & Wesson Lady Smith 3913 but the panel tucks in behind the gun so that uh, your firearm is is completely protected from uh, being a, a directly against your body. Alright, that's all supposed to tuck back in here. And then on the outside, we have a, a pouch on the front that actually has two compartments on it. You can put your, uh, your wallet, uh, credentials, whatever in that. It's got a, another Velcro covered pouch on this side, another one on that side. Put your car keys. It's not going to fit a cell phone, at least not a modern cell phone. Uh, back in the 90s, they were smaller. Uh, they were smaller than they are now. So that's um, that's big. Is this kind of a fanny pack or a waist pack coming back? Man, I don't know. Um, but hey, it's uh, it is an interesting idea. And I actually tried to do some research on this and. Not as quick as Richard Davis, uh, but really, I didn't find anything on the internet on this. So this was apparently a short-lived endeavor by Second Chance. Uh, each pouch includes our uh, unique steel Kevlar ballistic muzzle padded holster. Uh, can't be responsible for accidental discharge, etc. Adjustable two-way. Uh, adjustable two inch wide elastic band with uh, stretch velcro comes in three sizes small medium 32 to 34 and large uh, 40 to 60 uh, pouches are sent with a medium strap unless otherwise uh, requested and hey I still fit in the medium I'm, I'm okay with that um, and again the if you, if you dig into this the, the panel does come out by the way so the uh, the vest panel separates from the pouch and it's got the uh, pocket and everything sewn right on the back and here's where it says the second chance super featherweight it's got the serial number it's got a date of February 1992 is the date of manufacture on this and it does comply with uh, NIJ uh, gives the standard in here and again it's supposed to be level A threat protection so this does come out and velcros right back in and that's a blast from the past the Second chance police pouch, um, fanny pack, waist pack, whatever you want to call it. So, a little bit different. Um, not something that I'm going to uh, go out and wear, but hey, maybe wear something someday. So, um, if you like this video, we do appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, click on the notifications bell so you know what's coming up. Um, we appreciate comments on this video. Um, keep them clean uh comments down below on this one comments on anything else to info at ridersrange.com uh, share the video uh help us uh, continue to grow the channel uh we've surpassed 5,000 subscribers now we really appreciate that starting to move up a little bit in the rankings a long way from uh from getting where we want to go yet but hey it's been less than two years of working on it and thanks to you folks for getting us there so there is the second chance police pouch here on riders range Hey, thanks for dropping in.